these magic painting books and I bought an extra one so that I could do this video for you today. So all of these pictures are going to be related to the seaside or the beach. So shall we have a look through? This has got the attached to the front cover so I'll be taking that off shortly when I do a page. So lots of nice bright colours on the front here. It's a nice rainbow there and the sun in the sky and nice crabs and shells and starfish and a palm tree. Let's open it up and have a look, shall we? So this first page has got a sun and a nice sun castle there and Mr Hermit Crab is there with his uh, starfish friend he looks quite pleased with himself, maybe he's just made this. This page has jellyfish. They're kind of happy looking jellyfish. Smiley on the beach there, nice 
nice big sun.
This is designed for young children, so hopefully I should be able to do something decent with it. I don't think it's that difficult. <laughs> Let's have a look at the sun castle then. watching people draw though. I'm sure we've all heard of Bob Ross, <laughs> Mr. ASMR, with his very soothing soft voice and painting his lovely pictures. Young, there was a TV show called Take Heart and the presenter was a lovely gentleman called Tony Hart who was an artist and the show had several different parts to it but there was always the part where he would draw something and talk you through it and there'd always be a, a nice little picture at the end of it. It was actually made with children in mind to encourage you to take up art and look at different ways of doing things and trying to make art be a little bit easier. People used to send in their pictures and 
there used to be a section in the show called the gallery and they used to put the pictures up on the wall and they played a very specific piece of music I think I think it's called South Bank but I could be wrong there if I'm wrong I'll uh, put some text on the video I'll check that afterwards um, but it was a very specific piece of music I think it had vibraphones in it and I'm sure that most people growing up in the 80s will know that tune and know what I mean if they watched Take Heart It after school. smiley hermit crab well, he looks like he's a green tealy blue colour I 
could be wrong here, but I think that hermit crabs can actually be really choosy when they find their shells. I think they can try several before they find something that you know they think is suitable for them to to adopt as their home. Which is fair enough, isn't it? You want to be comfortable in something that you're living in. <laughs> Peaches here in the UK have been really busy this summer because we've had an exceptionally good spell of weather. We've had weeks and weeks of sometimes exceptionally hot days for us anyway in the you know mid thirties, but it seems to have lasted a long time. We're good at moaning that the weather isn't very good here, but equally we're very good at moaning when it's hot for too long as well. I think we're quite hard to please. <laughs> but it's been pretty dry as well, well very dry, so all, all the grass has gone brown. Um, we've had quite a few fires as well in forestry areas, which have been terrible, which is something you don't really see a lot of in this country. Mr. Crab with his smiley face. Okay. I think I'll just colour that bit of C in. As I said before, it's not something we do see an awful lot of, um, but it's been, it's been nice. Although today it's, um, it's quite a lot cooler today and it's gone a bit breezy. 
crazy and there's a few showers but there's still some sunshine around but it's actually more pleasant <laughs> it's um it's much better for sleeping when the uh, the temperature's lower I'm sure I'm not alone when I say that uh, the fan has been going full blast most nights recently because it's just been so warm. That's the good thing about when I'm on holiday and I'm in a hot country but also there's the lovely air conditioning in the hotel rooms which is most welcome when it's mid, mid to late thirties outside and it's absolutely boiling it's lovely just to come in into the air conditioning and cool off and of course you can have that running all night so it's it's rather pleasant I know when I was away last year I was away time of the big heat wave over Europe and um, it was 40 degrees um, for almost two weeks it, it was or near 40 degrees it was so so hot um, and it was a real shock when you stepped out of the air conditioning because you were so cool and felt refreshed and then you'd step out into this what felt like a brick wall of heat um, and within minutes you just felt so drained and it did kind of inhibit you from doing a lot of things because it was just so so hot to do things and I know we shouldn't moan about that when you're away but there's a, a point where it becomes uncomfortable <laughs> and that definitely was that point Still had a lovely time though. I think it was 40 degrees when I caught the plane home. And when I landed home, uh, I flew into Manchester and it was 14 degrees. So from 40 to 14 was quite a shock. I felt really cold when I got home. to go to the seaside. Uh... 